All right, friends, here is the mission here. We have duct tape, we build airplanes. It's about time we build a plane made out of duct tape. All right, friends, welcome to Flight Test. We got a really fun project today. We're gonna take two of our favorite loves, flight and of course duct tape, and we're gonna combine those to make an epic airplane. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how heavy this duct tape is and then design around it. From that point on, our hope is by the end of this video, we're not only gonna have an airplane that looks really cool built out of duct tape, but also flies incredible. All right, so Noah, I'm blown away here. I thought, honestly, this is gonna be about three times heavier uh, than what, what you're showing me here. And um, this is still heavy. It's not light by any chance, but um, typical covering film you use in model airplanes would be probably half or almost four times lighter than this. So we gotta be careful how we design this. And one thing I'm thinking here is if we shoot for a plane that's roughly around 50 inch wingspan, I'm gonna make it a big fat wing. So we got 50 inches times, let's just say a 16 inch wing. So we're gonna divide that now by 144 inches, which is what this is. That's 5.55. So 5.55 times 20 grams so we're looking at 111 grams just for one surface of that wing now typically you're going to cover the top and the bottom so that'd be times two but i think what we can do here is we can actually go with something called a single surface wing a single surface wing is basically what you see with an ultralight where only the top surface of the wing is skinned and the bottom isn't this gives you a really extreme under camber which is going to generate a lot of lift but also a lot of drag so i think i'm going to kind of take my inspiration from watching macgyver and all those crazy ultralights and how we use duct tape design like an ultralight inspired airplane maybe about 50 inches and i think that'll fly off of our power pack seat. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these dowel rods, start drawing up some templates, make a skeleton, and then we can start skinning with duct tape. So typically what you have is you have a whole bunch of ribs, you have a spar, a leading edge, you have a lot of different components. Again, I'm trying to make this as simple and as light as possible. So I'm cutting out all that and instead of having spars and things to bring in strength internally, I'm gonna do things like struts and uh, bracing drag and anti-drag wires externally. This is really common with ultralights where they use things like cables to kind of put everything under pressure and kind of hold things together. So really nothing new here, but it's just gonna be so cool to see this thing fly in, flies over you just to look at that duct tape. And I have a feeling, even though this seems like a pretty responsible size, I think it's gonna end up a lot heavier than what we thought. So every time I'm done with a section, I wanna weigh it. I think we're pretty much ready here. So you know it gives me a lot of hope? Hmm. I'm just I'm really amazed how light that is and it's it's bendy but the struts are going to take care of that so yeah. where's the scale so we have 3.6 ounces that's not bad at all no all right well what do you say before we go on the other side um we just we skin this real quick and see what we're up against is remarkably good. All right, what do you think the weight's gonna be? I think this is gonna only be about five ounces. Well, five and a half ounces. Nice. So two of those is gonna be roughly 11 ounces. We're still under a pound of weight. So I'm really blown away with how light this wing actually is. And I'm thinking if this works pretty good, we should really see how big we can make this and how epic we can go. If you guys would like to see that, make sure you leave that in the comment below, but also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're done with this side of the wing. I'm gonna go ahead and build the next one. The wing is not gonna have to handle you know, the, the positive G's trying to make the wing fold up like a taco because we're gonna have stretch for that. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and join these two halves. So I got an angle on both sides. So if it's laid flat, you see that we have this opening. When I rotate this up, that's gonna give us a nice healthy amount of dihedral to make the airplane automatically correct. So that looks really good. Let's glue these two halves together. There we go. Hey. All right, it went from like being heavy to that. That trip. is, <laughs> we're smashing everything that I knew about duct tape. <laughs> and I'm dizzy, I'm really dizzy right now. <laughs> 
Okay, so the guys are in there working hard on this project. And before we get any further, I wanted to take this time to tell you about our sponsor for this video, who's making this project possible. And that is our friends over at HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit where you can get delicious pre-portioned meals delivered directly to your door. Now, you guys know that we love HelloFresh because one, they support us, they make doing what we do possible. But beyond that, they make amazing food that is super delicious, but it also has taught me a ton about cooking. Now, most recently, I made their pork meatball and mushroom ramen noodles, which is super good. Came with all the amazing pre-portioned ingredients that I need to cook the ramen. Now, the cool thing is, is that ramen's right up my alley, but if it's not for you, HelloFresh offers many recipes to choose from each week, so it'll help you get out of that recipe rut. A lot of people, if you're like me, you continue cooking the same things over and over again. This gives you the necessary tools and knowledge to get out of that recipe rut and cook something new and fun. On top of that though, it's also gonna help you save time. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with some of their quick and easy options. But on top of that, they're also sustainable. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep time for you and less wasted food. So no matter what your lifestyle is, HelloFresh is gonna have an option that is flexible and works for you. You can add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order throwing extra portions. Feeding the whole family has never been easier with large box sizes for more servings and more savings. So on top of all that stuff, and also like I said earlier, supporting creators like Flight Test to do what we do, HelloFresh is also giving back. HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever, and has taken extra steps to keep it employees and customers safe during 2020 and beyond. So as you can see, the ramen that I made turned out great, and me and my wife really had a blast making it and the end result was super delicious. We really enjoyed it. So here's the best part about all of this. If you guys go to hellofresh.com and you use our coupon code, I'll put it on the screen right there as well as in the description, it's 10 flight test, all caps. You can actually get 10 free meals, including free shipping, which is pretty amazing. So again, that's hellofresh.com. Coupon code is 10 flight test, all caps. And a huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this content. It's because of sponsor like them that were able to do what they do and it's also because of you guys watching so thank you so much and let's go see how this build's coming let's do it so the wing is a lot lighter than I ever dreamed it would actually be. I'm really excited about this. My next step here is I'm gonna go ahead and start building that fuselage. Like I said before, I kinda want this to have that cool MacGyver feel, that ultralight feel. So I'm really gonna kinda design an early ultralight frame, which is really minimal, but also it's gonna use lots of our uh, barbecue skewers and dowel rods uh, in our benefit to give us the bracing we need to keep it from flexing too much. And it's looking good. I got a couple more sticks to glue on. Once everything lines up, I can work on my tail. And uh, we're almost done with the fuselage. No, let's see if we can do the same thing with your... I know, we, I should wet it down, but I'm really lazy. I think that's the perfect size, oh. That, that, <laughs> do you hear everyone's talking? Everyone's like, hey, hey, hey actually, come, come in the line of fire. I need you to measure the height of this. <laughs> Go vertical. Where am, I, where am I crossing, 10 inches? Oh, that's, what am I, where am I at here? 10. Yeah, 10, okay, 10. good. Whew. All right, I'm gonna wet it. I'll be right back. Do me a favor, grab me some duct tape. We need to tape this. I want to tape this, you know, down so it doesn't pop out. So just put a little piece of tape on both sides to tape it to the bucket. Perfect. Six. Super cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that looks really cool. I want to make that fin really exaggerated. I think that's pretty neat. And then, let's see here. I'll get this made first, but this needs to be like that. That that's. That's pretty awesome. When I get to this point, this is gonna have a, two vertical pieces. And what I'll just do is I'll just cut it right where that vertical piece is. So there'll be a boom here, a boom there. And then that'll give me my hinge. We'll see how strong it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's not attached yet, but this is not one of my favorite things. First of all, I'm gonna stick the, the rudder on. The way I'm gonna attach it, I'm just gonna stick it on these booms and then put a tape on the other side. Um, bailed on the previous design because it just, it looked too much like lips. I mean, I just couldn't unsee it. So went ahead and went with more of an old school. And since we learned a lot about soaking those dowels and getting that cool curve, I went ahead and did the same. Got a couple wrinkles, but here's the really cool thing. Basically, I got the controls like put into the actual control surfaces using coffee stirs. So now 
I'll guide this under here, guide this under here, press down. Just gotta tape it down. And we'll have our uh, we'll have our control surfaces work nice and smooth. We are on the home stretch. I mean it's not it's a duct tape point. It's like the equivalent of like your first duct tape wallet, but I think it's gonna fly. And it looks really cool. Cool. And all we have to do is put some servos in it and then go fly, right? That's it, that's it. We're down to two servos and a little bit more tape and some wheels. Cool, sounds good. All right. <laughs> Again, we use a lot of different triangles here. We have our struts. And if you look, everything is based off a triangle. This is very common in the uh, in general aviation world. If you look at a lot of ultralights, you'll see triangles everywhere. Strongest uh, shape, I hear. Yes, and the pointiest. And pointless. And the point is, don't <laughs> sit on the triangle. This is sick. But I'm, I'm excited. excited. Let's, Let's go, go fly it. I think we're ready. Fly it. Guys look great. So Steph, if this stays in one piece and we get through Noah, it's going to you next. Oh, sick. <laughs> we'll and if we crash it, we just need more duct tape. <laughs> more duct tape. <laughs> Alex, how are we looking over there? Good to go. Good to go? All right, you guys ready? Let's, Let's do this. Fly the duct kit. Ah, it's cool. <laughs> are you flying off the grass? You flying off the runway? I am going to get on. Oh! Wait. <laughs> Apparently he's taking it off. <laughs> yes! I don't know if I got there, but that was hilarious. That was terrifying! Guys, I just tried to taxi it. I know, and you just lifted <laughs> it off the ground. That's cool. That's that was amazing. amazing. That looks so cool from our head. It's not even moving. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't, you now can't. that's called high lift. It's like the levitation plate. Are you guys ready for a loop? Oh, yes, let's do it. Let's loop do it. it. All right, loop in three, two, one. Whee! Yeah. Holy! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> loop is on a dime. This is basically the most anticlimactic uh, oh, wow. ever. Well, apparently duct tape makes a pretty it, good <laughs> It makes an epic plate. What are we doing with full hey, board? Can you do a touch and go? Yes. Oh my. <laughs> yes. I don't know if I can because it doesn't want to come down. Just stick to the ground. Ready? Here we go. Yep. We're gonna touch it. Oh. This is the silliest aircraft of all time. Oh my god! That is so slow. <laughs> it's that is just amazing. Ridiculous. It's hands off. Yeah. All right, no, your turn. Here. Oh boy. Oh, that's trust hilarious. me, it's really fast. You gotta go. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, it's just you better get your race pants on. It's Holy like moly. the love child of of duct tape and a GWS slow stick. All right, now what are you gonna do, bro? Okay. Let me try another loop. Just okay. kind of feel it out. Bring right? on in to loop down. Two, one, loop. <laughs> you got it all down on my. You have to do the touch and go now. Do touch, oh, the touch, do and, touch and stop. And go? Well, let me let me bring it on down. That that's that's. It's, talk that's about fast as well, we're, we're, we're talking about high lift and high drag. <laughs> it's high lift and high drag. <laughs> It just, Dude, it's taking him an hour to come down. <laughs> oh, no, okay, I'm going back around. <laughs> Look at him. He's not going yeah. anywhere. Is that a new trick or something? It's so slow. <laughs> it's, it's just ridiculous. No. Oh, oh. 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 He broke it. Oh he no! Broke it. That's okay. We got duct tape. <laughs> that's duct why. Tape. That, that's why you don't let me fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, long story short, can you make a plane out of duct tape? Yes. Yes. Will it fly awesome? Yes. <laughs> can the ginger crash it? Yes. yes. <laughs> Friends, thanks for being part of the flight test family. Give us your idea of what other crazy material you want to see us make a plane out of. I thought this was crazy. It wasn't that crazy. It was fun. So give us another idea of what we can build a plane out of. Don't forget to hit the subscribe bell. We'll see you next time. See ya.